how are you doing? I'm Martin from Guidance for Life and Birdland Homestead. In this video I'm just going to show you a little uh, update on our uh, greenhouse which you can see behind us here. So I just tidied it up yesterday, uh, getting it ready for spring and for our workshops. So um, take a look here. We don't actually have a door yet uh, on, on both sides. It's just a frame but it's very very windproof. It's a uh, extra thick plastic and I will be making a video on how we actually put up this tunnel. It was an old mushroom tunnel and we simply um, bought a sheet of plastic for it. We got a thousand gauge plastic, which is extra strong and it has a 10 year warranty as opposed to I think the usual five years or so. And um, that makes it a bit more sturdy. And we've trenched the sides and dug the plastic down into the ground. So it's very, very sturdy. You can see here, we have a bit of extra space now. And we have a little uh, table here with a setup. We'll have a little camping cooker here for hot water. So I'm really happy to have all these spare chairs and all these extra plants in here. You can see there are some fig trees here and some, these are only small now. See there's some baby figs right down here. You can see them there. Um, but those trees are gone very dry. I need to set them up properly and I need to bring in extra compost here and wood chips for the pad. Uh, in the middle of the greenhouse we have a little bit of an area, just um, uh, the grow area, like a, I was calling it a little bit of an indoor uh, forest garden, kind of just for plants that prefer the heat. They might grow outside but they won't do too well, like the salt bush, which you see here. The salt bush died on me outside but I still have a nice big specimen, a huge specimen plant um, in the greenhouse. So I'm happy about that because those can be grown from cuttings and I will do that this year. If anyone's interested in these I might bring some of them to the seed and plant swap and you guys can grow those yourself and at home. It's a really nice vegetable. You can just eat the leaves like a spinach and it has a very unique flavor and it actually tastes kind of salty. So it's kind of smothering my um, figs on that side so I'd rather just trim it back a good bit. Um, the goji berry here is not much better. It's taken over the place but it's not much good because it's, it's flowering but not fruiting. So I'm not sure whether it needs a pollinator, maybe another variety to pollinate this one. Um, but it does have quite an obnoxious smell sometimes, especially on a warm day. Um, you can really get a good old whiff of it here in the greenhouse. So I might even remove this plant altogether. I have some outside. I have several varieties, but they didn't actually fruit here. I think they just need an extremely long, uh, warm or hot season, like at least 30 degrees Celsius for a period of time for them to actually go to flower and get pollinated as well. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have any experience with uh, gojis. Here you can see this is actually Madeira vine, so I've just taken up all of the, the vines and put them all into a pile just above the plants. You can see here, there's one of the tubers, one of the tuber crowns I should call it. So all these, each of these little bits and pieces will grow into a whole new plant in one season and you get quite a few. This will be like a football sized tuber, I don't want to harvest them all now, but just to show you, that kind of that size of a tuber will definitely grow into a, a football size ball of tubers, just like these, and uh, in one growing season, and it'll make a uh, nice um, spinach-like, very thick spinach-like, uh, but mucilogenic uh, leaves that are really nice to eat as they are, or you could cook them too, and that kind of takes away the the kind of mucilage-like consistency. But um, we do eat the leaves as it is and they're really nice. And they do die back in the winter. If you're somewhere with no frost, be careful. It um, can keep growing and even go to seed. Ours sometimes flowers, but then it gets knocked back by the frost, even in here. We have some of those outside actually, but the Madeira vine doesn't do too well outside. It does get knocked back quite early in the season. So, yes, so much space now. I mean, I'm not even used to it anymore now. What have you got there? Come here, Nina. Nina, here? Oh, did you get a bone? Good girl. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have some grapes here, trellising over the seating area for the summer. Yeah, some tomatoes on that side. Just 
So you can see here, these are figs. This is the brown turkey. Hello, Levi. How are you doing? Always cuddly, aren't you? Always cuddly. Me black sheep. Alright, so these are other fig varieties. And here I'm gonna grow some plants. Gonna start up soon now, probably March. Uh, gonna start growing some plants here. Got myself a couple of potting tables, a smaller one, and a bigger one. Although it has seen better days, it's still good enough though. And the idea is you can actually dump out a whole wheelbarrow load or even a, a bag of compost here directly without spilling any of it. And then you can work away and put, fill up your trays or make your soil blocks as well. I'm going to do both, see how they compare again. Yes, and here we have the other side of the greenhouse. Still no door yet. And on the greenhouse gutter, I'll have to replace that bit of tape that has expanded and contracted too many times over the last year or two. And I'm going to replace it with some polydome plastic or uh, polydome repair tape, I should call it and that will bridge the gap between the gutter and the, and the greenhouse itself and we'll get some water again because at the moment it is not working very well but we've got plenty of water for the summer anyway if you're still here thank you for watching the video and we will see you the next time uh, if you are uh, coming to the seed and plant swap on the 3rd of march take a look at our website if you want to know more about it and if you want to see where it is it's in roscommon uh, near roscommon town Thanks very much. See you later. Bye-bye.